Hello everyone, this is Blair from Nexo Solution. Today we're gonna start a series of tutorial on Nexo POS 4 and this series of tutorial will cover how to download and install Nexo POS, how to use the available component and for the developers we will see how to use the internal API and create modules. So before getting started, let's first talk about Nexo POS 4, what is that and what is the current status of the development. So Nexo POS 4 is a major upgrade of Nexo POS. So we have moved from the version 3 to the version 4. And this change is a breaking change. What we mean by that is that Nexo POS 4 is completely different from Nexo POS 3. However, Nexo POS 4 is using the best feature that we use on Nexo POS 3 plus new features. So in order to build Nexo POS 4, we have used Laravel, which is a very nice PHP framework. We have also used for the front end Vue.js, which is very good to build reactive UI and Tailwind CSS. So we decided to create something from scratch because we believe Nexo POS 3, which is currently using Code Editor, Vue.js, a little bit of Vue.js, and AngularJS is no more scalable. And we have been facing a lot of issue providing support on this version because we don't have the good tools to debug the application and to even create new module. It was very hard to keep working with that version. So Nexo POS 4 will solve a lot of problems that we have on Nexo POS 3. One of the first problem that it will solve is stability. Nexo POS 4 will be more stable than Nexo POS 3. And Nexo POS 4 is using Laravel, which is Laravel 8, which is compatible with PHP 7.3 and even 7.4 so it's it's good to use the most modern php version rather than sticking with the php version php 7.2 which is currently uh, required on nexo pos 3 so now that we know what are the what are the tools that we use to create Nexo POS 4, let's now see what are the tools that you need on your computer to install Nexo POS 4. So, in order to install Nexo POS 4, you need to have some tools on your computer. The first tool that you need to have is a virtual server and by virtual server we have many solutions such as XAMPP and Lattergon. You, you also have WAMP that you can install but it depends on, on you. If you like WAMP you can go for WAMP. If you like XAMPP you can go for XAMPP. But I will really suggest you to use Lattergon because it's very easy to install and it has a very powerful dashboard for managing PHP version, My, MySQL version, and even to install um, script like Laravel, WordPress, and all this stuff. So you need to have a virtual server on your computer and you need to make sure that after having installed your virtual server, you can actually test, um, you can actually check the PHP version. So we'll go, uh, we'll go ahead and check what is the current version of PHP that I currently have on my computer. So I will open the command line. This is the command line. Every operating system has a command line. So even if you are on Ubuntu, uh, Mac OS or Windows, you can you can have your own uh, command line. So here I will type PHP dash V and this shows the current version I'm using. So PHP 7.4.2 when you will be using laragon let's say i will go to download you'll see that here 
Laragon, the full version of Laragon is using PHP 7.2. So somehow you will need to download a new version of PHP. So we will go here and type PHP 7.4. And we can mention Windows because we are currently on Windows and that will take us to the um, PHP website where you can go here and download the zip. So from the non straight safe, download the zip. Somehow you will need visual, visual, visual credit, I think. On your computer you will need to have it on your computer but most of the time it's already installed on your computer so you just need to download that and you'll see your search on, on on internet how to change php version laragon so you'll find definitely uh, some interesting tutorial that will explain how you can switch your current php version on um on laragon okay so you have that and let's say that you currently have PHP version that is 7.4 all right so now the next tool that you will need which is almost also required is composer so composer is a dependency manager for PHP that's it you, if you if you come to the home page you'll see that it's a little bit like uh, npm for node.js but this is for PHP. So you just go to get started and you will see all the steps. If you go here on installation on Windows, you have all the steps to go through and to install it. And to check whether the Composer is correctly installed, you just have to open the CLI again and type Composer. You just type Composer and press enter. All right. Normally you should see an output like this. All right. You can also type composer v to just have the version. Okay. So now that we have a uh, Laravel, a virtual server, I mean a virtual server, Laragon, and uh, composer install, we now need to install Node.js. And it's very simple. Just go to Node.js.org, and then here you download the current, the latest version, which is the the 14. And just download that is a binary that you will get and you just have to follow the step to install in your computer and when you have it installed you just have to go here again let me clear this and type node V this will show you the current version and you see this is the same version all right so I'm using the the last version of node.js and also you might need to install node npm actually so I'll tap npm and that will take me to to npm to the website here so from here you just go to um i think i don't remember maybe the home page has changed so i will, I will try install npm and i should directly okay so this take me directly to the to the installation page and you just have here to follow the step to install npm and when you set you just need to come here and type npm v and this will also show you what is, what is the current version of npm that you are using now that we have laragon composer node.js and npm we need a final tool but this one is not required you can install it but you can also skip and i will explain you why you can skip but the last tool is git so git is a very interesting tool um for the developers I, I won't be explaining how and why you should have it on your computer but if you're a developer and if you're using git you probably know why you, you need to have it if you want to control the version of your of your software this is a tool that you need to have and github will actually help us to download nexopus 4 without doing a lot of actions okay so you can download that and install it you will also get a binary when you will install it and when you will you will install it after the installation you just come here and type git dash v or git dash version dash dash version and you have the version of github and if you see that it means github has been correctly installed so now we have 
all the tools to install Nexo POS 4 and that's what we will do on the next section. So on the previous version, we have seen the tools that you need to have in order to install Nexo POS. I'll try to remind you the tool so that you are in the same page or the same line as me. So you need to have a, a virtual server on your computer. You need to have Composer installed on your computer. You need to install uh, Node.js and NPM. And finally, you need to use Git. But as I told you, you don't absolutely need to use to install Git on your computer because there is a way around. It's a little bit longer, but you can you can skip you can skip that and don't use Git. And the solution is to come here. As you can see, we're on the current repository of Nexop US4 and comes to the code, you just download the zip. Here you will get a compressed file that you just have to unzip on the folder where you want to install Nexo POS. I won't be using this technique because it's a little bit longer. I think it's a little bit longer. It depends on what is your what is the quality of your internet connection. So I can go with that or I can also copy this address all right and come to the folder where i want to install nexo pos so this is the folder where i will install nexo pos so let me try to resize it to the correct size like this all right so this is the folder where i will install nexo pos so yet i can come here download the zip version okay and nexo pos 4 has already built some uh front-end uh, vendors. By front-end vendors, I mean uh, Vue.js, um, building the, the, the Tailwind, Tailwind, CSS um, classes and all this stuff. So it's already configured to run directly. And when you just download that and comes to the folder where you want to install it, you just have to, you when you just unzip the file, you will only have to install PHP dependencies to install Nexo POS because the assets are already built. So we will go back to the um, page and you, you see Nexo POS is downloaded. So I will open I will open the file showing folder. All right, so I will copy that and uh, I will go to the folder where I want to install here. I will pass, all right, and then I will unzip. I will unzip here. Okay. So yeah, I, I said I won't go with that version, with that solution, but that's what I'm currently using. It's it's also simple, but I think I need I I prefer uh, using it because I can. If for you, you can uh, directly contribute and you need, you, you know, uh, submit your uh, suggestion. So that's why I wanted you to install Git. But if you just want to give it a shot, it's easy. You can go with that version, with that solution I'm currently using. So here we have the repository. All right. So let's say this is where we will be working. And now we need to open the CLI on this folder. When you are on Windows, I think you need to hold uh, shift. It's a, I think on the, on the keyboard it's shift. And then you do a right click. And you will see uh, open uh, PowerShell. Uh, this is in French, but on your computer it should be open PowerShell. And when you open PowerShell, um, all right. Oh, you see the path take take you to the current folder where we are. We are on the same path, okay? So now we need to install. Uh, PHP dependencies because we already have the asset, the, the, the front end asset built. So, what I'll be doing is use Composer, and this is where Composer comes in because we will need to use that 
to even update sometimes update nexo pos to the the, the the major version update lateral because lateral is being used all all the php dependencies all right so we have composer here and we'll just type composer install the step will the 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 the, the, the installation might take some time so i will pause the video and proceed when it will be done so i'm typing enter and now we should normally wait so i will pause the video right now and we will proceed when it's done so we have installed the php dependencies but you can see that we have a problem here actually the file.env is missing in fact we need to have a .env file to be able to install correctly in xop us4 so what we will do is to copy this file and to paste on the same directory but change the name into .env so you just have to confirm this alert and go back to the to the cli here and what we'll be doing here is just composer dump default so in order to avoid this issue right is before installing php vendors php libraries you need to create a .env file and run the installation by typing composer.install so you can see now nexopus has been downloaded and is ready for the installation by installation we mean um, installing on the database and what we'll be using is the database that is provided by um, Laragon and the solution that we're using is Haiti SQL all right so I'll open Haiti SQL so first I will open Laragon all right so if you're using Laragon you just have to open the control panel of Laragon so let me just go and do that and by default just have to use the database field database button instead and me I'm not using that button but I will use Haiti SQL that I have already installed on my computer so I will tap Haiti SQL all right and now I will open and here I will just have to create a new database or I can use uh, an existing but I will go with a new database I'll call that um, Nexo POS series all right so for the collation um, I think UTF-8 general CI can go uh, let me just select that general CI but um, I think you can choose the um, right collection according to the character that you'll be using on your database so I'm using UTF-8 cool all right so I'm switching now to Nexo POS series there is that okay so we have the database and it's empty all right so now that we have the system installed okay we can also generate a key using php edison key generate and since we have a env file the application key should be set successfully all right so we also we can also create a symlink to uh, the storage directory using php edison storage link these steps are something that you can do uh, following the laravel um, installation steps okay so uh, it should not be new for you all right um, we can now go ahead and serve the project by using php edison serve okay so now the project is being served at this address okay i can just copy that and open the browser here where i will just type past the address all right and since nexo pos4 has built the front-end dependencies it's already built I means it's compiled already and here we just go ahead and even if you whether you try to sign up signing dashboard you will head to the installation page because it's not yet installed so I will click on dashboard and this will take me here all right 
um, I'll click dash uh, database uh, configuration database setup okay and here I'll just provide a name that is next to POS series you can leave the prefix here the password the username is usually roots especially on Windows so I will save the database all right and now if you see this problem if you see that the, the loading page is still spinning i have mentioned this problem on the global shutting here and this happened because uh, when you just mentioned the database information the development server restart and when it restart your session is no more uh it's no more um i mean it's no more active basically and what we need to do just to fix this problem is to refresh the page just that all right and you won't be facing this problem is if you install nexo pos for example online or on a remote server you, you won't face that problem okay so um I'll go ahead and provide an Excel POS as the application name. Admin, I will use okay this uh, well-known admin. Contact at nexopos.com and password. I'll let you guess what is the password. Okay, you will type your password. You don't have to know my password, but it's a very weak password. All right. So I will click on create installation, and now what it will do, it will install the database. On Haiti, if you come here, you refresh, you will see that database are currently being installed. You refresh again, you see there are more database, uh, more table instead, more table being uh, added. Okay, so we'll just wait here that it's complete, and normally you should head to the database migration. Uh, you should be familiar to this because uh, it will always happen when we change the structure of the database. When you update Nexo POS, it will show this page where the database schema will be updated so now we just have to log in using how weak credential so admin and my password all right this is good we have now installed nexo pos and the next section the next video will be will be going through um, all these available components and see how it works.